Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Review Channel. So yes, I have a couple of calipers here, one out of stainless steel and one out of plastic. I'm going to do a quick review and an unboxing of both of these items here. I already did a review on this one. I'm doing another review. I'm doing a new review on this metal one. I want to look at the comparison. We're going to see how they both work. So stay tuned, watch the whole video, and you'll learn exactly how these work in my comparison and my thoughts. Stay tuned, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of your review channel. And yes, if you saw my last review on the digital caliper, and this is the one here I reviewed, and I want to just make an updated video and just show you the difference between a plastic one and I received a metal one. So I just want to make a quick comparison video, just go over that with you right now. So what I have here is a caliper, a micrometer, a measuring stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I saw this one online and I got to be honest, a friend of mine re re referred me to this one. And I wanted to get it and check it out for myself. And it wasn't bad. And I just want to go over it with you real quickly. And if you see, if you saw the last video, I'll leave a link up top so you can see the first video on this one here. So this one is made out of plastic. This is plastic and this one's stainless steel. So we'll take a look at it real quickly. So I don't want to make the video too long because I may already made a first video. But the main difference is that I saw this video. I mean, when I saw this, when I received it in the mail, basically, I said, you know, it's nice. It works well. It slides nice and smooth, but it's made out of plastic. So how long will it last? You know, and also this is also very flimsy. You know, I was concerned about that as well. Again, it was around $10. So you do get what you pay for, but this was very um, easy to read. And it, it does exactly what it does, exactly what it says. Um, the only issue I had with it is that when I was measuring things, I noticed that I was getting a flex reading and I was pushing down on it because well, you can see that. And as you were pressing down and trying to get a reading, it, it was moving a lot. And why was it moving? Because we're dealing with plastic and it has a lot of movement in it. And that was kind of concerning for me. So not that it, it's not a big deal, but over time, plastic can break. Over time, plastic will get brittle. And over time, it is what it is. So this is plastic. You pay, it's like eight or 10 bucks, but it is what it is. And it works well. And it comes with two extra batteries. So this is and this is how it came. It came in a little plastic case, just like you saw in the review. If you didn't see that, check that out. Uh, and this one I just received. This one is stainless steel. So let's take a look at that. So first impression is it comes in a much better case. It was double the price. So this was almost, I think it was like $20. Um, so 20 and 10, let's call it. And here are the two differences. So this is plastic, all plastic, okay? And this is the stainless steel one. And I wanted to just do a comparison and just show you real quick. Um, and this came with one battery. This one came with two batteries. So that's one big deal, but not really a big deal. I mean, batteries are really cheap online. So this came with one battery, but the main difference is it's much more beefy. It's much heavier. It's got the same, same mechanics on it. You know, honestly, they probably, let me just put this out of the way. So it comes in a hard case. This is a better hard case. Okay, whatever, put that to the case to the side. And let's take a good look at these together. So we have a plastic one and we have the metal one. The stainless steel is much heavier, much beefier. This will never, this will never break. You know, have to worry about the electronic. It's the exact same that, uh, components they use. Same exact measuring, looks like to me. But the difference is, this just does millimeters and inches. This does millimeter inches and fractions. So if you're looking to do fractions, um, this does that. It has a fraction as well. And also it does have a lock on the top of it. So say you're doing a measurement specifically, you want to measure something, and you want to lock that, that down, you can do that. So they all have that has that, which has a little couple more different a couple more features. Um, and the difference is I do like on the metal one, it has a roller on it. So when you move it, you can actually easy to roll back and forth. This is a roller. You can move back and forth and make some nice and smooth operations instead of using, I mean, you can also use the plastic as well, but the roller is kind of cool. I like the roller. Again, all metal, so this is not going to break versus the plastic one. This is uh, super flimsy, so this is definitely, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. You, but you, may, you know, you fool around with it, you bang it, boom, breaks. That's the problem. They both have the zero out button, but this is so, so much beefier and much, much heavier. And I think, honestly, dollar for dollar, if Hearing these, I think I'd rather spend twice as much to get something that possibly can last five times longer than save myself ten dollars and maybe get a year out of it if it breaks quickly. And that's the main difference, I think, to me. They both pretty much do the same thing. They have the same quality build. I mean, as far as the digital the readout, exactly the same. It's clear. You can zero it out very easily. But this one here, when I go measure something, okay, across here, and let's just show you the difference. There's no flex in this, and this one doesn't flex in size. So this is 35.2 millimeters, and that's what it is. So it's exactly as it is, there's no flex to the plastic, and that's what I'm having the problem with, there's no flex to the plastic. 
when the plastic is here, there is some flex, there is some play because it is plastic. And that's the two main differences to me, the plastic, but it is quite heavier. And I'll just give you a ex quick example. I have a scale here. Let's put it on the scale. And the difference is that this here, it, this weighs, just so you know, six ounces. Well, that's a lot. If you're dealing with it all day, it could be heavy on you. And this weighs 1.8 ounces so this is about two ounces almost this is six ounces so this one weighs three times it's actually over three times the weight so that's pretty heavy uh, so that is quite a significant difference if you're working with it all day it can be taxing maybe on your wrist but honestly the quality build is much much better and i think all in all it's going to last you much much longer all right let's continue your dollars not necessary this is good enough in my book you know if you're doing simple measurements and you're trying to get you know just a basic you know inside dimensions and outside dimensions definitely better off with the stainless steel in my opinion i'll leave some links down below the inside dimension of this is 38.6.69 so this is actually a little bit more accurate uh 38.69 you can say that or just you can just do 38.6 because it'll give you the same measurement it doesn't have the fraction built into this that's the only difference this has a fraction so you can do that as well um so again this is all metal you can see here this is all steel. This is not gonna. It might bend on you, but it's not gonna break. And you can always fix that. Uh, and it just seems like a better quality build. I do like it. All right, so definitely gonna recommend the metal over the plastic. Uh, so if you saw my video, definitely this one is better, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's all. I just want to make a quick video. If you have any questions or any comments, I'll leave some links down below. Uh, so there'll be both of these available. You can choose what you want. If you want something, if you're gonna work with a micrometer or a, a measure all day, this is quite heavy. So just to let you know couple of ounces plastic if you don't mind if it breaks whatever it is what it is you pay for what you, you know you get what you pay for but it also is i don't know i just like the thing i always believe in buying something a little bit better quality and last you hopefully a lot longer and i think the build is actually really nice i like this a lot it has a zero out button so it does zero out. and i like this roller on the thing on the thumb this does not have the roller you have to actually move the whole thing itself as you can see here the roller thumb is a little bit more accurate you can really get down and move it down pinpoint that which is kind of cool i do like that roll of thumb that is really nice so i'm going to be returning this one i'm going to be keeping this one uh you guys have any questions or comments please leave down below let me know also like uh and share the video it does help me out it helps grow my channel it helps me keep doing what i'm doing so i can keep helping you do what you do which is buy things and look at my videos and i do appreciate that it really really makes a big difference and I really i really do appreciate you guys watching through my channel all right and that's it for me don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified when the next video is ready, and I'll see you at the next review.